if we now have a look at the first part pre-processing where do you see the biggest mistakes happening that uh, pre-processing pre is uh, something tedious it's just you have to uh, deal with but i really like the quote of professor yasak that who owns the mesh owns the simulation Mm -hmm. So, uh, and this is this is still true because it, it is very simple to run snappy hex mesh. It, it finishes in ten minutes, and then you have your mesh. But uh, I remember back during my PhD, we worked with Fluent and with Gambit. I'm not sure whether you uh, you worked with Gambit. It is a, a very old preprocessing mesher for Fluent, and mm -hmm. uh, in uh, for a project back then, I spent two months just on the mesh uh, because it was otherwise impossible for the simulation to run so and i don't say that everybody should uh, in invest two months into meshing but it shouldn't be just a tedious pre-processing step so for snappy hex mesh the the geometry is already crucial because with the, your geometry with your stl files you already predefine your later boundaries so you should really think about at the beginning what are the boundaries that you want to control in your simulation and then separate your STL file accordingly. And of course you can combine it into one STL file, but still which are the boundaries that you want to control. Then the surface triangulation can be sometimes a problem of the STL file. So it is also a question whether your CAD2 can, uh, does have a good surface triangulation while exporting an STL file. And then, yes, yeah, so snappy hex mesh can be very overwhelming, the, the settings. So I like, if you have the time, try snappy and CF mesh. Uh, because in, in some cases, uh, snappy hex mesh is better. In some cases, CF mesh is better. And mm. then um, if you want to go for snappy hex mesh, there is a very good reference, which is called Comprehensive Tour of Snappy Hex Mesh, a PDF that you can just Google which was created yep. by the original authors of Snappy Hex Mesh. And the, the official documentation on openform.com is now really good uh, on Snappy Hex Mesh. I, I was really impressed by it when I saw it first. So you can just uh, go to those two sources and then learn more if you're not satisfied with your uh, mesh quality.